Well, we are following breaking news out of Southern California. While you were sleeping, officials confirmed one of seven Marines now presumed dead after a tragic training accident was actually from the Houston area. ABC 13 digital producer Brittany Wilmore joins us now live with what we know so far. Just such a heartbreaking story here, Brittany. It really is, Tamika, and we are thinking of the families of all of the service members. Overnight, we found out 23-year-old Corporal Wesley A. Rod is the one from the Houston area who is feared dead. He was a rifleman with the Bravo Company Battalion Landing Team. Now, officials said he was in the accident that happened here off the coast of Southern California at Camp Pendleton, north of San Diego, during a training exercise last Thursday. A Marine Corps spokesman for Camp Pendleton said 15 Marines and a Navy sailor were in what's called an amphibious assault vehicle when it started taking on water. Seven of the personnel were able to get out safely and were pulled from the water. But yesterday, Navy and Coast Guard officials ended an extensive 40 hour search for the seven Marines and one Navy sailor who are now feared dead. All of the Marines involved, including Corporal Rod from the Houston area, were part of the 15th Marine Expeditionary Unit. Rod's body has not been recovered. I also want to be sure to recognize 20 year old Lance Corporal Guillermo Esquerez of New Braunfels. He was pronounced dead at the scene before being flown to the hospital in San Diego. He was also a rifleman. Now, the vehicle they were in was a 26 ton land and sea going vehicle that went down in hundreds of feet of water. Water, which officials say is below the depth even a diver can go. The Marines use the vehicles to transport troops and equipment from Navy ships to land and are nicknamed Amtraks because the original name was Amphibious Tractor. The vehicles, which have been used since 1972, are also constantly refurbished and armored with machine guns and grenade launchers. Now, officials said the troops on board all wore combat gear, including body armor and flotation vests. The next step in this investigation is finding and recovering those missing service members. Thank you.